Saluting, always tracking. This is next weather. Oh, I just can't get over the fact that July is almost over. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Where has the time gone? And uh, well, <laughs> how much hotter is it's it going to get? It's been a slow <laughs> month for uh, me because yes. <laughs> there hasn't been much weather going on, and we're thankful for it. Yeah. We've had all these bouts of Saharan air that have been coming in, and uh, we'll continue to get at least one more plume uh, here early next week. But we'll talk about that and how that's going to start changing uh, in the tropics here. There's some showers offshore. I showed you that earlier. Those continue moving off to the north and west, and some of them could clip the uh, coastal areas here, but they're mo moving slower tonight than yesterday, and that is going to you know, just make them take a while to get here. But if you're waking up early enough as we check in on the uh, morning, we'll see if you try to make it uh, along the coast, but it's just not going to be uh, much out there. And then we'll transition into inland afternoon storms. The pattern hasn't changed for tomorrow. The storms will still be favoring the western side of the peninsula. It's still going to be a hot day, whether we get 105 uh, for a couple of hours. Um, we may get there, but today we reach the low 100s. I mean, it's just splitting hairs at this point here as far as the heat, but it will feel rather humid, uh, unlike today where we got a little bit of a break from that rain showers and thunderstorms back in the forecast, particularly Sunday with higher rain coverage, but I'm only increasing it to 40% pretty typical for this time of year and then into early next week. We'll drop them again a little bit as some Saharan air uh, begins to push its way back into uh, South Florida. So through the day on Friday, as we kick off your weekend, you see there noon, you're fine for lunch going outside by the afternoon. Once again, like clockwork, showers and storms will develop over the Everglades. Some may clip and push back a little bit to our western uh, neighborhoods here, but I don't think they're going to manage to make it all the way into the coast before everything then shifts back to the uh, western side uh, of uh, uh, the uh, peninsula here. Notice a few more showers through the overnight as we head into a Saturday and we'll begin to see a little more coverage as we check in on the uh, tropics here as uh, we talk about you know we've been um, blessed with Saharan air uh, so far this uh, month not much activity all these tropical waves have been falling apart but here comes August right and these Saharan plumes start becoming uh, less intense less frequent and that opens the door for tropical waves to try and get organized in fact we're tracking something potentially for next week something uh, you want to keep checking back with us here uh, this this is a feature that would move in for next weekend here at least enhancing our rainfall potential as we head through the upcoming weekend so We'll keep running some models on that and see if that's going to end up being something a little stronger than just a wave coming in. Rip currents are going to be low for your model. If you're planning a beach day, we're looking good. The Atlantic waters, uh, no problem there. Less than two feet conditions and light chop as well for the Florida Keys as your forecast will feature again. Uh, much more of the same. Rain chances only about 20 to 30 percent. Seven day forecast. Uh, we'll see the increasing moisture, about 30 to 40 percent coverage on a Sunday. I still think if you have weekend plans, we're looking pretty good. Really, it's not a until Monday that we get back into some decent rain chances here and some good downpours coming up, followed by just typical coverage for the rest of the week with rain chances at 40.